Hello guys. Hi. It's Rafika. Is that what it's called? Rafika? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the fuck we're called. <laughs> At this point I don't even know. No, it should be because oh, Jessica, Jessica, yes, Africa here. Um, we're currently inside the uh, London Film Festival 2022. We're going to watch my policeman later. We're going to be walking on red carpet. I'm going to be videoing the whole thing. In the um, rain, probably. Yeah, probably in the rain. Um, I always get scared walking on these. Because look how low they are. If you drop, you drop. We're currently going to Tesco's. We're near the EE Tower now. The cinemas and books. There's quite, there's quite a few people. Yeah, they'll probably be inside or something. Taking you along on the experience, so we'll show you what we're going to get in tes Tesco's. Why did I say Tesco's? Um, Costa. Costa. Yeah, that's it. But we need to find a way there. Um, they're also airing Pinocchio today, which is on that billboard over there somewhere. Um, hopefully the quality is better now, because I finally have an iPhone, so it doesn't look as bad as it did before. Um, well, that looks nice in there. Guys, it's the green sign? room. So yeah, we're going in the right direction. But yeah, we'll update you when you get there. Okay, so where I said the Pinocchio thing was, my policeman one is gonna turn up. So hopefully it'll turn up in like a couple of seconds. It was Harry on the, on the screen. We're waiting for it to change. Because my policeman says, Oh, there it is, guys. Look at that. It's Halloween. Look at my scene right now. We're in a uh, store that has like a bunch of American candies. We've just been inside, outside the hotel for like two hours. And, uh,. <laughs> No one's walked out yet, because we seem to always miss everyone, knowing our look. Um, this is what they have, Pop-Tarts and everything. Don't they, Jess? Oh, Buenos. I'm sorry, but these are the best. White chocolate Buenos. Spoily. Yeah, please, man. Come on, doing a few? Oh, sorry, we're on different ones. <laughs> So we've been outside the hotel this whole time. <laughs> we've managed to see the director of Pinocchio. Yeah. Uh, we've seen the person that does the uh, animation. And we've actually met the actor that plays Pinocchio. So, yep, this is where we are right now. Wow. Look at that view, looks lovely. We're just on our way to the premiere now. We're walking the red carpet, so you can walk it with us. We're here, so this is what it looks like, guys. Ready? Uh, we took a bunch of pictures. It was really fast. We didn't really see anyone. None of the actors or anything. 
which is a shame because we wanted to see them um, outside the hotel but we didn't get to. I wonder if we can go near the window that's opposite us and have a look down at the red carpet and see if we can see anyone. Yeah, can see if we can see anyone. I'll try and video something for you, but the film's starting soon. So, the movie's starting, we need to take our seats, but um, I'll quickly video this and then movie time. So this is the red carpet. Quite a few people down there. All these people are waiting and stuff. Quite a few people talking actually. Look at all these people on the balcony. But yeah, looks great. Loads of people from my policeman premiere all down there taking pictures. So excited. And this is what our tickets look like. <laughs> Mine's a bit bent, spin in my pocket. <laughs> Just kind of like shriveled it. Amazing. Oh my god, so excited. Okay, so we've made it in. This is what it looks like. I think it's a, it's, it's a massive screen. <laughs> massive screen. Last time I was here, I think the uh, actors and stuff are gonna go on this stage that's in front of us, which I'll show you in a minute. But or like they're gonna stand like probably up there somewhere. Very, very excited. This is what it looks like, guys. Look at this. The whole way around. <laughs> and then that's the screen, and that, that's the stage I think they're going to be on. Um, and if they are, I'm very excited, but yeah. And there, welcome to the penultimate night, and what a special night it is of the BFI London Film Festival. Um, and it's a pleasure to introduce tonight's special presentation of My Policeman. You gotta cheer. Woo! That would be really awkward if you left the hanging on that one, so thank you for coming in there. But this is a really special one. This is a, a film from Michael Grandage. Grandage. It's beautifully realized adaptation of Beth Ann Roberts' um, novel. And it's about love over a 40 year period and the ways in which British society changed to adapt that love and give that love space to live and breathe. Um, and I think it's, it's a really beautiful story that just documents how it takes changes in, in laws to create space for people, but it takes much bigger changes to attitudes um, to allow people to really live in themselves and live full lives. Um, impressive cast, a great ensemble cast that you're gonna see on screen tonight. And some of the great craftspeople from British cinema really make this a real pleasure to see on the big screen. But to introduce his, te his team, please welcome Michael Grandage.
As on that, I'd like to just to introduce you first of all to my fellow producers, starting with Philip Hurd. So here are our other five, starting with Linus Roach. too many spoiler alerts before the film starts, the, there are six actors who are playing three roles. And so we were looking for three people to play the younger characters and three people to play the slightly older characters. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm, I'm delighted to say that many of them are old friends and colleagues. Linus were, and I were at college together. We've known each other years. Gina and I have worked together many times. David and I have worked together. Rupert and I have try to work together, so this is something, and Emma and Harry, obviously, uh, are leading the company here with us, and it was um, a wonderful opportunity to bring together a proper ensemble. Absolutely. And um, I also just wanted to ask, can you just set up for us a little bit why this story, why was it important to you? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's many reasons, actually, and the most, one of the, one of the key was the fact that it's set in two time periods. It's set uh, in 1999 and in 1957, and uh, it was a wonderful opportunity to play with time and memory and how we can create a cinematic experience about time and memory, and obviously we watch it through the prism of 2022. And the other reason that I was attracted to it, really, was a personal reason, which is I was uh, born into the England in which homosexuality was illegal. And uh, the law changed when I was young, but uh, then it was a period of prejudice, and then some incredible advances, some wonderful advances have been made that I'm enormously proud of. But I do feel for the very first time in my adult life, we're at a slightly more fragile place. And my hope is that this film uh, can be part of a debate, one of the joyous things of having people like Emma and David and Harry in it particularly, they will bring with them a very young fan base to watch this film. And I think the young are the least prejudiced generation we've ever had. And I want them to see a film where there was a society where you were not allowed to be free, where you were not allowed to be yourself. And I'd love for them to become powerful advocates for us to continue moving forward, not back. And uh, that was a very attractive part of uh, looking at the script and thinking, actually, it would be wonderful if we could be part of that debate. That is an
Hello guys, um, update, it's the next day. Uh, we're outside London Victoria Station, right? Um, we went to the premiere yesterday, as you guys seen in the video. They ushered us quite quickly inside, didn't they? Like the red carpet. Yeah. We were trying to take pictures and then I kept having the security guard. Can you guys move along? I know you want to take pictures and stuff, but you need to move in. And then there was like a wall dividing us from the actual class, which I, I'm kind of upset about because I wish we could have gone up to the little rope thing and like took pictures of them. Yeah, and then we saw that Harry poster and then we went inside and they had like a five minute talk. I'm pretty sure the person that plays the older version of um, Emma Corrin, she stayed, she watched it, she stayed there because she went up the uh, seats and stuff. Um, everyone else pretty much left. David looked so awkward, like just standing there. <laughs> Emma just looked like she had a fish, like a fish bowl as a dress. She a I'm pretty sure it was meant to be a fish bowl or something like that. Um, then we stayed outside the hotel, but we didn't catch any of them. But we did meet Pinocchio, like the kid that voiced Pinocchio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we went to Buckingham Palace today and we saw a marching band. No, pretty much it. We'll probably go into more depth. What else did we do at the red carpet? Not much really. We took a bunch of pictures and then you go in and there's like more things to take pictures at. I've like I'm gonna insert videos somewhere on the screen so you can like see it. But yeah. Also, there's someone praying at a tree. <laughs> It. <laughs> it was a leaf. It wasn't, I thought it was a picture. <laughs> yeah, there's someone praying at a tree. <laughs> but yeah. That's not praying, he's on the floor. Is he? Yeah. No, he's not. He's on the floor and he's got everything. No, not necessarily. You can sit down, bro. Anyway, yeah. That, uh, thank you. Thank you so, okay, thank you so much for watching <laughs> our short Goodbye. video. Goodbye. Subscribe, like, whatever. I don't know if you even can subscribe wherever I'm posting this, but you can. If you can follow us, just follow us, and yeah, we'll hopefully we'll be doing more premieres and more concerts. <laughs> if we can actually get the tickets, and we'll bring you along with us. Bye from Rafika for now. Or Rafika, how I like to call it, but...